Are you finding that people don't want to view one more broadcast event, but you can't do a large event due to COVID restrictions? Well, I've got an alternative for you. Watch and find out now. If you're like me, you're caught between a rock and a hard place right now. I'm finding that venues aren't allowing large gatherings due to continued government and organizational restrictions. But in talking to donors, they don't want to watch one more virtual event. They're zoomed and YouTubed out. However, you know that missing one more dinner season will kill your momentum and people will lose interest in what you're doing. You know you can't just do nothing, but there may be an alternative, a happy medium. I'm calling it the VIP gathering. After surveying donors and finding that many want, are willing, and even need to participate in some type of gathering, if nothing else, to feel some sense of normalcy, but my venue or other restrictions only allow 30 to 50 or more people to meet, I've decided to work with what I've got to play the hand that's dealt me, and I believe you should too. Begin by gathering the names of your largest donors, either as a whole or from past events. Normally, that's the 20% that brings in 80% of your income, but keep close to you the remaining names because we'll need to look at those as well. First, here's what I recommend for you. Start from donors who have given the largest single gift this year or largest cumulative amount. If you can get a list of both, that would help. Second, begin reaching out to these people to find out if we have a much smaller gathering, would you be willing to attend? Use the capacity of the venue as a way of guiding you and assure people that you will do everything possible, take every precaution to provide for their safety and security at the venue, from providing proper spacing between tables, between chairs, wearing masks, distributing name tags, even in the way that you handle commitment envelopes and pens. A safe event can be done. Some dear friends of mine conducted their annual dinner in Sioux Falls, South Dakota in late September this year. Applying all safety precautions, they had absolutely no cases. Afterwards, they raised their entire budget including paying off the remainder of their mortgage on their building, and they had many delighted guests. Normally, they get between 1,000 and 1,200 guests. They expected about half as many, so 600 people. So many people wanted to get back to normal, see old friends, or even find out what the organization was doing, that they had 900 people attend. They totally thought that offering live stream to everyone, but they were concerned that at the last minute, some people would decide for non-COVID reasons not to attend, leaving the organization with meals that they had to pay for. Therefore, they only gave people the live stream option after those people already made the decision that they would not or could not attend. And it worked out extremely well, and those people were happy as well. It was a long live stream presentation, so afterwards they made a shortened version. But some people wanted the excitement of the moment, the gala experience, and that's why they offered a live stream option to those people. As people start to give you input, begin chipping away at your list from the largest all the way on down. If you reach capacity for the venue, stop at that point. If you exhaust your list of your first tier donors, 
that's the 20%, then go to the next tier, go to the next 10%, and so on until your capacity is reached. Should restrictions get better, you can always invite more. If the restrictions tighten, then you may have to pull some people off the list in reverse order. But just make sure that you let them know that circumstances changed with the venue. They will understand. This can get a little awkward, but know that one thing we've learned through this coronavirus time is that people are willing and able to pivot with changing circumstances. Prepare your small event just as you would a larger event. You may decide to videotape your event and either live stream or tape and send a link to people with a shortened version. Think highlights video. But a small, more intimate gathering will allow you to focus in on the particular needs of these partners and donors. And it may even give you some elements that a larger event wouldn't, like having a Q&A. Having just your larger donors or VIPs at the event will reduce your costs and make for a larger return on investment income over expenses. The only element that you're missing is potential new donors. Whereas a larger event incorporates the table host strategy, friends inviting friends, you won't have new gifts coming from this because you're mostly pulling from your current donors. Should restrictions lift, you can ask a handful of current donors to invite their friends, potential new donors, to sit at their table. However, I would start with most uh, with your most committed donors, such as your board members, since they'll understand best who should and shouldn't be at the event. Continue to monitor local, state, and other regulatory authorities to find out if anything changes. The concept that we got used to during the pandemic was pivot. We got used to pivoting changing our plans at a moment's notice. If something does happen, like a total shutdown once again, we can always pivot to a virtual event if we must do that. Start your planning preparation today. If you found this video helpful, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and if you wish to watch future videos on this channel, just hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified immediately of the next release. Also, post a comment below if there were things that you especially enjoyed or topics that you'd like me to address. For videos similar to this, check out the playlist that I created entitled Personal Appointments listed above. And also to watch other videos related to nonprofit fundraising, go to my channel, Development Effectiveness Strategies. I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you.